Let's take a look at adding social media links. Go to your Add Elements page and then simply click on the icons. And here you can see that social media icons have already been added. Now you can add whichever ones you want. So it's defaulted here to Instagram, email, and Twitter. And perhaps I would rather have something else or I want to actually enter my details in. I'm gonna delete and I'm gonna add in the URL links for the ones that I want to add. So I'm gonna add LinkedIn. I'm gonna click and add another icon. Okay, here I'm adding YouTube. And I am deleting Twitter. So here I've got Instagram, LinkedIn, and YouTube. If I want to add Facebook, I'm gonna add Facebook too. I'm pulling Facebook all the way to the top. That way I know the order in which my social icons will be displayed. So on Facebook, you can write in the whole of the Facebook URL, or you can simply just write in your name. Here, I'm going to write my Instagram one. Again, I don't have to actually write www. I can just write the Instagram name. Ensure that you add all the URLs here. I've got to add YouTube and LinkedIn still. So I can just copy that URL. And when I click on the LinkedIn icon, it's gonna take me straight to that page. If I look at the share via, I'm going to simply click over here and I'm going to use that URL in order to add it to my Disha page. For my YouTube, I can go onto my channel and here I will have my URL and I'm going to click the share button and it allows me to copy that link. And now I'll go back to my Disha page and I add the LinkedIn and the YouTube URL. Whether you have saved the URL in your notes like I have, or if you're just gonna share from the actual platform and copy the URL, you can add them here. And then you click save, and your icons will then be saved successfully, and then you can choose one here. I'm choosing the LinkedIn profile, and I can see the LinkedIn page. So it's that easy to add social media icons and direct your customers and your fans to your social media pages.